For most of the last six weeks, Donald Trump has complained that the charges against him are political. There's never been anything like this in the history of our country. It's a scam. It's election interference at a level that's never taken place before. President Joe Biden's campaign has largely refrained from commenting on its opponent's trial until this week and a Biden campaign appearance by actor Robert De Niro outside the courthouse. When Trump ran in 2016, it was like a joke. This buffoon running for president. No, never could happen. We'd forgotten the lessons of history that showed us other clowns who weren't taken seriously until they became vicious dictators. With Trump, we have a second chance. And no one is laughing now. Trump advisor Jason Miller says that shows Trump was right all along. So the Biden folks have finally done it. After months of saying the politics had nothing to do with this trial, they showed up and made a campaign event out of a lower Manhattan trial day for President Trump. From midnight tweets to drinking bleach to tear gas. De Niro narrates a new commercial from the Biden campaign that it says highlights Trump's, quote, increasingly unhinged and dangerous quest for power since he lost the 2020 election. Now he's running again, this time threatening to be a dictator to terminate the Constitution. If I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Trump wants revenge, and he'll stop at nothing to get it. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. The Trump campaign says Biden is trying to distract voters from his own failings. Spokeswoman Caroline Levitt. Because Joe Biden is weak, he's pathetic, he's a threat to democracy, not only with this weaponization of our justice system, but with his wide open border invasion that is allowing a mass invasion of illegal people into this country. Terrorists, criminals, our economy is in shambles, we are heading towards World War III. Those are the issues real Americans care about. A PBS NewsHour NPR Marist poll says a majority of American voters are not following the trial. The jury's deciding whether to acquit Trump as the first U.S. president to stand criminal trial or make him a convicted felon running for president. Scott Stearns, VOA News.